I'm ready, boys. Let's kick some ass. Yo, hey guys, Smallmouth Crush here. We are at Thayer's Open up on Lake, wherever we are, St. Lawrence River. It's raining, it's wet. We're gonna go cut, try to catch a few bass. It's all coming up. All right, so this is our first big smallmouth tournament of the year. Uh, Thayer's Marine, which is where I get all my bass boats from and highly recommend them, uh, put on a tournament trail. And this is one of the stops on the St. Lawrence River, uh, the Waddington. So my buddy JP and I decided to jump in this and fish. And of course, I do a lot of my fishing uh, the opposite direction of Waddington. And so we had a pretty long run that morning in the rain and cloudy conditions. I was really excited about this event leading up to it. I had a real heavy bag. Um, and of course, this time of year, well, this is it's been an extremely late year for us. And a lot of these fish were still spawning. And so whenever you're fishing a tournament where the anglers will actually look at the fish and see them, it's very hard to beat someone who's sight fishing, uh, just randomly, you know, fishing or going down the bank or, or doing, or just actually just going around some bedding areas is definitely not the most effective way that time of year. You have to know exactly what you're up against. And I felt like I put the time in and I really felt like you would need a six pound average to do well in this tournament. Of course, all week it was low winds and high sun so it made it really easy to see these fish and the day of the tournament and i had some deep fish i had fish up in 20 23 feet of water and with the cloud cover and rain it made it almost impossible for me to find those fish and so we couldn't capture all the fish we wanted to and in fact the clip you're going to see next is our, our first fish, but it's our second stop. We went to a 6-pound, 11-ounce smallmouth that I caught a glimpse of it briefly, and it was in that stage where it was wandering around. It's been on that area for the last three, four days. I checked on it every day, but for some reason, it wasn't, it wasn't situated. It wasn't set up right, and so we had a bail after 15 minutes. To see if that fish would settle and whatnot. Uh, so you're going to see here in this video, there's a lot of teamwork that goes into it. Uh, flogging is extremely difficult to do it right. It's a lot of work and everything has to be right. I have all my rods set up. I really want to go over that uh, in detail here. So if you can allow me to just take a moment here. I have different rods set up for different fish. Every fish has a different personality, and a lot of these fish's personalities are the same every day. So this second fish that we stopped at, it would suspend, uh, oh, I would say about two to three feet up off of the bed that was already in a two-foot hole. And so this fish was at least four feet up most of the time. And so a traditional approach to this fish would have been a challenge. I had to have a high lead on my drop shot and I had to actually shake it in and around his face in order to get a reaction bite. It wasn't one of those things where you had to get on a secret little, the exact spot. No, this fish wanted it totally different. So you'll notice the second stop, I'm actually going in the rod locker and pulling out that specific rod that I tied up the night before just for this fish. So we'll go through some of the fish that we caught and uh, show you how how we uh, managed to get a decent bag in this event. Oh, she's coming back. Yeah, here she comes. She wants. Is that net ready? Yeah. I gotta get up. Just okay. get up to the thing a little bit. You see the left. Keep coming. Left now. Here it comes. Got it. Oh. That work, bud? Oh yeah. 
Pull the motor. Uh, now we're gonna look at some other beds. Great Lakes, drop worm. All right, so we got one fish. Now we got to run to another fish. And some of my six pounders were were gone. You can see there a net, a rod, and a hat flying to the water. So we're all flustered right now. It's not a good morning, currently. My hat's right back there. Turn around, go this way. We gotta slow down, we're rushing. What do you mean? I'm not rushing, buddy. All right. Where's your hat? What about a sleeping hut? See it? What for? You saw it? I saw it when we went to the net. Right there. Oh yeah, baby. Best catch of the day. Okay. <laughs> We're winning this. Five, I don't know. He doesn't look good. Who knows? In the well. Uh huh? He was there yesterday. Catch him? No, I'll tell you what to do. Where's the net? Great. Right here. Okay. Where are you at? Okay, hold on. Next on that bed. See? Yeah. You gotta go two feet to the right. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Take it. Wow. Is it on? Yeah. Oh yeah. Five pounder. Shake, 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 shake. 
my line, bud. Back and check that bed, and then we gotta go. This one's bigger, bud. Hey guys! <laughs> so at this All point, right. we got a decent uh, limit. Four of my six pounders were gone. What's that? Oh, well, three out of the four. I just couldn't see that one good. So we're making our way back because I got one just under seven pounds closer to the ramp. But we're going to stop on a few fish as we head back down to Waddington. Told me he had he had it hooked. Well, bud, all of a sudden, bud, you didn't you tell he's me. Not there. Unreal. You said he's not there. Unreal. <laughs> yep. Set. Got him. Not even five pounds. Four thirteen. It's not gonna help. Nope. Looks big. So I could not find that seven pounder. I got a feeling I know who caught it before we did, but 
Well, all we're left with is uh, the leftovers in this zone. So what we got is what we got. We're going to keep looking, but it's been tough. We're struggling today, guys. We, uh... Here it comes. I'm ready. Here it comes. No bite. No bite. Actually, we're running back to the ramp, and uh, the guys that won the smallmouth crush open last year broke down. Hey, so fellow competitors broke it down. Can I put this fish in our boat? You're a psychopath. All right, I love you to death. But you're a psychopath. <laughs> okay. Just like that day we did the garlic. They're not four pounders. You know? Okay, bud. Get out of here. Okay. Look, guys. Yeah, JP, you're leaking. JP's leaking. All right. What do you think of today's experience? I think we had a great day. I think some of the big fish did leave, but this bag is real heavy on my shoulders, boys. It's bigger than I thought. Yeah. Travis is sitting here at the weigh-in, telling me 28 pounds, and I'm looking at him like, "You're a psychopath." <laughs> All right. Oh yeah. I cannot wait to weigh this bag of fish. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
31.92. Good job, bud. Okay. We did all right. We had 30, just under 32 pounds or whatever. So, uh, we tried. Probably third place, I guess. Had fun today, bud. So did I. Yeah. Hey, thanks for taking me out. Yeah. And as always, until next time. See you on the water. Hope to see everybody July what? July 16th, the Smallmouth Crush team event out of French Creek Marina. The day after the ABA, come out and support the ABA and stay an extra day and fish with us. There you go. See you guys. <laughs>